Charles Ward, meeting for the town of Berlin order. Uh, with us uh, uh, tonight is, uh, to my far left, is Justin Lawrence, Flo Smith, to my right is John Quinn, I'm Brad Town. With us also is our town administrator, Tom Badowski. Um, any additions or changes to the agenda, Tom? No. Uh, public comment. Uh, Fisher Road Colbert, Robert Clark. I think we have some public comment here. What's that? Just yeah. a, just a uh, comment. Um, I, I, sure, I didn't go about this the right way of getting on the agenda and everything. So, we just hear about the, the unallocated sewer, uh, the new prog program of paying and all yep. that stuff. So, with the COVID 19 and everything, we're having a hard time getting access to certain records, just just, just a time thing. And I, I don't know if you've gotten it yet, but I sent a letter last week about my personal, I'm at my house, um, not wanting the allocation, because guess what, there's no sewer line there. It yeah. came with came with the permit. Um, and uh, Chip with you, by the way, sorry. Um, so we've got some, um, quite a bit, um, with you Incorporated. Some old, some not so old, uh, but a lot of it needs to get figured out from inside. I know Brad's been, uh, is aware of, of, of some of the issues. Yeah. Anyway, so what I'm trying to do is um, see if we can get some more time to keep working on this, and because some of it we may or may not need, um, and some of it we have to, we have to come to agreement on anyway. Um, so that's what I'm hoping for. If, if I know the the date was last Saturday, um, so I don't know if if you can say, you know, you can have some more time without paying eight percent and one percent a month um, penalty. So I guess that's right. And he said, I know you can't really make a decision because we're not a, an agenda item. I know this is a yeah. special meeting well, and everything, but I just wanted just to. We'll put it on for next Monday. Okay. Or not next Monday. Yeah, no, Monday. It'll be Tuesday, the yeah. day after Labor Day, the 8th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Week after. Week yeah. after. Okay. Week. Won't okay. be next week after. Mm -hmm. yeah. Week after. Okay, but I'm not going to Are you talking about your property taxes? No, no. This is, the, uh, this is Alex, sewer allocations for properties yeah. that are not connected. You're getting penalized on that as well? From well, yeah, the, the new rate is... I think uh, 0.2 a quarter for the allocation. Um, it, I don't know, I'd have to look back the numbers up, but it's it's significant, a significant amount of money. Um, so I could speak that if anybody wants. Sure. The Public Court Board has probably for the last year and a half has been discussing, uh, especially centered around the new town center, that there has to be a certain amount of allocation earmarked for the new town center. Uh, the, the town has a 600,000 gallon a day allocation from the from the city of Montpelier. And uh, we have about about 400,000 gallons of that already allocated. So we, we did a, a review of that, about 150,000 gallons a day of that has been uh, for allocations that are about 24 years old and never been connected to the, connected to the system. So we. We uh, uh, sat down and talked to uh, all those uh, owners of that allocation, and we said, look, do you really need this allocation? And uh, uh, some said they did, some they said they didn't, and they gave it back. And so the, the Public Work Board, with the, with the ordinance that uh, you folks adopted in January, allows for the billing of the fixed cost portion of the sewer uh, system to the uh, allocated non-connected non customers, and this is what Mr. Lebeau was talking about. Um, we've been talking about this for a long time. Um, um, I don't think the, I don't know if this is your decision or the, or the, the sewer, uh, the uh, public work board, I don't think they would, I don't think the public work board would have a, a, a problem granting an extension while folks did their Kind of work. I, I, f I found I just found today a, a large file that this issue came up again uh, probably in '97, uh, and a lot of I think what what uh, what you folks have we still have in the books 
was rescinded at that time. So it, this may be a moot point, uh, and so we just need to sit down, Chip, and, and okay. go over that. So I, did, I just discovered that file today. But I don't think if it's if it's the if it's the uh, public work board, uh, I don't think they have a, an issue granting uh, a, 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 a continuance of the payment. I think it's really Diane's. I don't know what I issues there are. Late fees. I'm sorry. I have not charged late fees because yeah. I knew there were some issues. Yeah. Well, we always put it on the agenda for yeah. Yeah. next year. Yeah. 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 Before then, can you bring us the you know kind of recommendation on where it goes, whether it's the water sewer board or the select board? I'm not sure by statute. Uh, no. Yeah. You uh, talk to Rob. Yeah, I didn't know either. <laughs> it's, you guys the, top, it's, so. the public <laughs> board, board imposed it, so yeah, right. I, I'm making the assumption they could they could say right. give them some time. And this is in anticipation of the decades-long project we have over there. Okay. And it's only unconnected allocations, so right. like, it doesn't matter like with my building on the very Montpelier Road where I'm not utilizing any. I don't pay that penalty right. for the fixed cost portion. You know, take that one today. Okay. Thank well, you. Thank you. I hope I can bring you better information next time. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Chip, and call me. We can maybe work a lot of this out. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to do. We're so busy. Yeah. I've been on my. I'm not really complaining. I'm just complaining. We're so busy. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, official old Colbert, Robert Clark. So Robert's not joining us today. I sent you a, uh, some notes from conversations today that we have with the Agency of Natural Resources. Um, the long and the short of it is that they are um, uh, going to require the, the long form of the stream alteration permit. Um, the long form carries with it a minimum of a 30-day com uh, public comment period. So as I put in my notes to here today that if, if we actually had the application in our hand today and submitted, it would be 40 days from today that we, we may see a permit. So we don't have that permit yeah. in hand. I mean, yeah. that, that application in hand. Yeah. A &S. And I see that they don't let you work in the water after October 1st. So, um, are, are you met Stephen Wolf from Contact. He was here. And he um, uh, has got permission in the past, recent past, this year, from the Agency of Natural Resources uh, for emergency repairs to allow after October 15th working in the streams. So we are we are going to approach the ANR uh, uh, Rivers and Streams person and see if they will grant us that. Uh, if not, then uh, what I what I I've got a couple things here I think we 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 should try to do. Uh, the first one is I would like the select board's authorization to hire Otter Creek Engineering um, to develop that stream alteration, uh, working in the stream application. Uh, and it's a $2,000 cost. We're going to have to do this. If we do this in October, November, or we have to, we do it next year. So, um, so. Um, the if if we do push it off, uh, uh, once we get that that permit in hand, I I know there was some uh, angst about um, uh, not maybe bidding this project, and we would need that permit in hand to really to develop some bid specs. I think that's going to be a, a couple grand itself on top of that. Uh, but I think once we get the permit in hand, we have the conversation with a &R. If they allow us to, to immediately get into that stream 
I think that's a, a different a, a, a decision, another decision that the select board can make. If they say, no, you can't do it until next year, I think that's a different path. That, that Is it going to cost us any more to have them try to get it in for this year? Cost whom? I mean, the taxpayers, the town. Is it going to be more of a cost when they're applying for the permit to have them push to have it done? I don't think it'd be any more of a cost as far as the permit goes. What it'll be is the cost of mobilizing it. Low, I mean, you put it, if it was going to be put off an issue, you could certainly put it out for bid. Then it'd be a matter of mobil the mobilization cost. I mean, the thing right now is the excavators are already there on site. Yeah, I understand that. So it'd just be the cost. I mean, you just take a risk of when you put it out for bid. I mean, how much are we talking about to have the equipment mobilized, though? I mean, that's a, a, it's that's very entirely what they need. Um, I'm assuming it's just going to be a couple of excavators and, and maybe a loader. Yeah. And so, a pump, you know, some water pumps or something like that. Right. So not that much. No, no, no. Not much. No. 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 How long can the permit stay open for? <laughs> so if, is it, I mean, there's an end to it. Yeah, what is it? Uh, You'd have to have, speak to Jared about that. I this one. I, I think you could get it done next construction season. Um, oh yeah. It, but, the, right. So the permit will stay open for eighteen months or something like that. Twenty four. I don't have time to get the work done. I I I would check with Jared and make sure that it's uh, not from October fifteenth to October fifteenth. That type of thing. Right. Um, you know, just make sure that if we apply for the permit, it's granted. That is good for for next year's construction season until right. October. The, the the only issue is the severity of the decay of that structure, and you know what what's the catastrophic failure potential. I mean that that's what you guys are faced with, yeah. and that's what decision you have to make. Well, Mike I can see it's going to come down to A and R. Uh, the thing that I've been thinking about is we won't, we won't have the money in October either way, right? I mean, we're not going to have we're not going to have that that amount of funds. Mm -hmm. Not quite. No, I mean, a lot of people have paid for the entire year, which is great, but right. not quite enough. Right. Well, there's a couple, there's a couple of courses of financing. You 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 as a select board can always take out a a loan. Yeah. So there, there's a there's financing there available. How um, short were we? Wasn't that much? No, it wasn't. It was but that was spending like every everything. Everything yeah. we had. Yeah. 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 And then the question I I was under the wrong impression that if you guys made a decision that we could start spending money now and put it on a bond boat. The bond bank said no, that they don't they don't operate that way. The USDA does operate that way, but uh, bond bank does not. Uh, and and um, so their recommendation was either a short-term note or borrow from yourself. But if you borrow from yourself, make sure you pay it back in a, in a timely manner. Um, and they suggested five years. So if you, if you borrow the funds from your, yourself, uh, uh, their recommendation, five years, you'd have to do something with your tax base to, to, to pay for it in five years. Or uh, uh, you guys talked about Lover's Lane and the uh, Richardson Road, and this maybe uh, pulling them together on a, a town-wide vote, which would the next one that we could we can get on without a special election would be town meeting March of 2021. So I, 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 I would like to get your folks authorization, $2,000, to start the application, the stream operation application. We're going to need it any either way. Yes. And uh, the engineering from Otter Creek, that was the, that's the $2,000? That's for the application. Correct. For the application. Okay. My, my only question around that is how do we pick Otter Creek? Well, they've done the, our water and sewer projects, so they have all the have mapping now for that area. It's but isn't all of that online through A and R anyways? No. This is the town owns these. 
these drawings of, of for the water <laughs> sewer. Yep. But for the but for the streams and things like that, the hydraulic flows and things like that, those are owned by Agency of Natural Resources. Any engineer can do it. We've we've did it all. Uh, Otter Creek has already done that for us. That's uh, why we have we're able to have the, the conversation with, with uh, Jaron. Uh, because you may recall, we wanted to see if there was enough hydraulic capacity in in the new sleeve to uh, warrant sleeving. If not, that we were going to have to do an open cut and basically be a bridge. Uh, Jaron today said he thought. The, the, the calculations look fine, and, and um, so uh, sleeving is a, a, a potential. He didn't say an assurity. He said it's a potential. Uh, we, we, need to, we need to get this stream alteration permit and, and have them review that with respect to this sleeving. Now, the stream alteration, is that going to be just for the sleeving, or can it be just for sleeving in or a different structure? Um, I, Brad, I don't know the answer to that question. It's a good question. I don't know the answer to that question. Um, I mean, you know what I'm, what I'm trying yeah, to do? No, I do. I think what the, the uh, uh, what you would get out of if they decide you can't do a sleeve. I think what you would get with the money you spent for the application, you get all of that. There's, there's a lot of background stuff you have to do with respect to the application. You may have to, if, if, if that, the worst case scenario is, is a bridge, you may have to tweak that application to, 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 uh, uh, to take it into account that bridge. But I don't think the 2000 is money wasted. I don't think you're spending, you're, I don't think you're going back to the ground zero yeah. and doing the project. Mm -hmm. The only thing that would worry me about a bridge there is it's going to be at an angle, you know, uphill, mm -hmm. fairly steep. And, and John, just that, Otter Art Creek has experience here. <coughs> we, we, they know us. They've got the stuff. The other option is, what going to bid to find for a two thousand well, dollar project? The thing right? it is, is you, know, you have to, or you're supposed to go out to bid after five. Yeah. Anything under yeah. that, you can. It's discretionary. Is that our policy? Five grand. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, because we changed it. Yeah, it went from two thousand, I believe, to five thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm prepared to make an authorization if uh, a motion. If there's no further discussion. Well, we're supposed to have a motion in a second before the mm -hmm. discussion. But <laughs> Go for it. All right. I make a motion to authorize Otter Creek to develop the stream alteration permit at a cost of $2,000 for the wetlands permit. I'll second that. Any further discussion? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, uh, executive session tonight? Yes. Personnel? And legal. And legal. You want to accept it now? Uh, need a motion? Your executive session for a personnel and legal issue. I second the motion. Any discussion? All in favor? All right. Thank you, Diane.